Subway, that sandwich chain with 37,000 restaurants across the world, is exploring a potential sale that the Wall Street Journal, Reuters, Bloomberg, all report could value the business at about $10 billion. So $10 billion is a lot of money for anything, but when you start to peel the onion for, for Subway, it's a system that in the United States, their unit count has gone up like this and has gone back down like this. They've closed 7,000 locations in the United States alone in the past five years. So a lot of restaurant closures in the US as well as abroad. So I don't see how you could value this business at $10 billion. Subway's 2021 EBITDA, essentially their operating profit, was $32.8 million. So we estimate the Subway chain to be no more than a billion dollars. And that's a really generous EBITDA multiple of over 30 times EBITDA if it's gonna be valued at a billion dollar company. When you get up to $10 billion, that's valuing the company at 300X EBITDA, which is just insane. So I don't see how Subway sells a story that a buyer can do it significantly better than what Subway's been doing to get those earnings way up to justify a $10 billion valuation. And then you look at the big players, who could be buying a Subway? Inspire Brands, which is controlled by the private equity firm Wart Capital, bought Dunkin' Donuts for $11 billion, where they paid a nice multiple, not 30 or 300 times EBITDA, but they paid 22 times EBITDA for Dunkin', which was already quite high. And they're known for paying pretty high multiples for franchise brands. And they already owe, own Jimmy John's though. So Inspire Brands isn't, isn't gonna buy it. Restaurant Brands International owns Firehouse Subs. So they're not gonna buy it. Yum Brands, I guess, could be a potential, but I doubt their shareholders are gonna let them spend that kind of money on a brand that's been going down. They seem to be buying more emerging brands to add to their portfolio alongside Taco Bell, KFC, and Pizza Hut. And you know the numbers just don't add up for Subway. In 2021, the average sales were about $450,000. You compare that to Jimmy John's at 866,000 or even Jersey Mike's at $1.1 million. Subway franchisees are not making too much money. It is a decent cost of goods sold because they have a, a co-op formed by their franchisees many years ago that they're able to negotiate super hard with suppliers. So the cost of goods sold for a Subway isn't bad, but you don't have the top line revenue like a Jimmy John's at $860,000 or a Jersey Mike's at $1.1 million or Firehouse Subs in that same realm. Subway franchisees also pay above industry royalties and marketing fees. As John Oliver highlighted on his HBO special, they pay 12.5% of gross sales. Imagine a profit margin 15, 20% for a Subway. It's gonna take you six to 10 years to recoup your initial investment. I saw over 150 Subway franchises for sale on sites like Biz Buy Sell with the asking price around $150,000. The midpoint investment to open up a new subway is about $350,000. So why would anyone start a new subway for $350,000 when the economics are pretty similar to buying an existing subway restaurant at $150,000? To me, the numbers don't add up whether you're investing in a new subway or if you're looking to buy the subway brand at $10 million. I don't see how the numbers add up. Potentially buying an existing subway uh, could, could make sense. I look forward to hearing from you. Shoot me an email at patrick at vetabiz.com. Love to hear from some subway franchisees, as well as you can leave in the comment section, because I think I'm missing something. The numbers just don't add up for subway, whether you're looking to open up a subway or if someone's looking to buy the whole subway franchise brand.